what the prepaid allows is a number of things for different reasons and for different channels. So let's talk about suppliers first. I think in the old days people used to afford everyone credit and then having to try and collect their money after they've provided the service. So you have massive defaults on, on, on bad debt, you have these massive debtors departments trying to collect your, the money and then people start to re-tariff because they know X percentage is always bad debts and, and, and you have to cater for that in your tariff. So from a supply point of view it makes a lot of sense. Let me sell my product in advance, get my money in advance and I'll deliver the service in the future. Maybe um, there'll be additional revenue streams for the operator because he doesn't have to employ uh, so many people to collect bad debts. There won't be bad debts and hopefully he can re-tariff because he's now doesn't have that much issues on his side. From a consumer point of view is we're generally badly disciplined consumers. So what happens is we land at getting ourselves into trouble. We budget for a hundred and we spend a thousand. That's normal for everyone. So what prepaid does is it allows forced discipline. I can only buy a hundred, well I can only afford a hundred, I buy a hundred and I spend it. If later stage I need more, I top up more. So I think from a consumer point of view, it allows forced control, a lot better budgeting uh, going forward. For the merchant, what it allows him, it allows him to start vending products that he doesn't have to hold stock of. And it's quite a bizarre concept to think that the largest selling product in your store you don't hold stock of. So I think the opportunities from the merchant point of view is to start generating uh, revenues and profitability in what we call virtual product. So if you look at all the different categories, there's most certainly a value added proposition to all of them. And as we've seen with the in invoice that the tariffs are almost aligning themselves with postpaid. So there's not always that big a necessity to live in the postpaid world. We're also seeing that you're not getting choices in certain areas. You can go sometimes to the Western Cape, build a two or three million dollar house, it comes already with a prepaid meter. We're not prescriptive on how you want to pay, whether it's debit or order, credit card, debit card, however you want to pay will accept that tender. But what is happening is that you're not getting a choice that you will become and live in that prepaid world. Naturally, water or any facilities provided by government are going to enter into the prepaid realm. Mm -hmm. I think if you look at the bad historic bad debts in municipalities are significant because of the inability to collect on those tariffs. So hence the reason for prepaid is I deploy a meter, I, I sell a prepaid token and I get paid in advance. So water is heading in the same direction in the, in the sense that massive bad debts can't collect my money, I'm, pr I'm providing and provisioning all these services, how am I going to do it better in the future? So by, by the municipalities and government deploying prepaid water meters as they have done in electricity, all well, the consumers bound to follow. I don't think he's going to get a choice, that's what's going to happen. So if you look currently, the status sits at about 9 million electricity meters. Government have said they want to go to about 18 million electricity meters. It means if you've got 80 million households buying electricity, well, you're going to have to have 18 million households with water meters. Once it's in the cycle, it generally picks up momentum because you have many Munichs all over the country and each of them can deploy simultaneously. It's not really governed through a centralized body. So once that moratorium is given that we need to go into a prepaid water cycle, well then uh, the Munich have to ensure they can roll it out. Uh, it takes years to roll out meters, but in saying that is the speed of adoption is quick because the consumer, uh, being the household, has already been educated by electricity. He knows to go buy his hundred rands worth and he'll get X amount. Same for water, so very little education is needed. And for us, what we've seen, electricity grow from a three million rand revenue business in year one to ten plus billion in year four and a half is phenomenal and, and those those things could happen with water on the assumption that the meters are deployed uh, in the marketplace.